uh, aligning to some extent to the hues and cries of my dear brothers here on the issue of uh, the Ogoni cleanup as he has gone to dwell on it. I think uh, I, I wish to express my concern and uh, at the end my deep appreciation that finally, finally the Ogoni cleanup is emerging, so to speak, <clears throat> apart from the number of years it has taken on a rhetoric pedestal. Finally, it is coming up on stream. It is the wish and prayer of some of us at this end that uh, these concerns from both ends, our brothers and sisters from the divide of the Niger Delta who have found themselves and their lives online in so many ways as he has managed to express in these few words will begin to finally bear some fruit on that line of action. But I'm sure part of the mistake, my chairman, if you allow me, is that when uh, the Federal Ministry of Environment is on an annual outing of the budget and major activity pattern for the year 2019 was made and uh, it did not contain, even if it is in one, two paragraphs of what the Ogoni clean up is all about, I think was uh, a misnomer and to some extent maybe an oversight and that was why probably if the ministry and the honorable minister has gone to give this sitting an oversight of what that project has come to achieve by now, maybe my very dear brother, distinguished senator, would have been less emphatic on that. Having said this, I have three items to comment on the presentation of the Honorable Minister. The first one is the revenue profile chart of the ministry and agencies of the ministry, as has been indicated. Glad to see that two billion naira drive has found its ways through various channels and platforms into the collection of the consolidated revenue account of the federal government and uh, about 500 million beyond the targeted amount. I have been vindicated. I said this last year and I'm saying it again. The target revenue for the ministry should be much, much higher than that. I have said it. And I'm saying it again more so last year when the finances of government was really battling with itself to see how government can scoop from sources into the consolidated revenue account so as to be able to finance its most basic responsibilities in funding. I still say, as it has happened now, the target of 1.5 billion has been overshot by 500 million, and I still feel whatever the revenue target for this year can be realized and a lot more can be achieved. Part of possibly, Mr. Chairman, what I'm propagating is the possibility of the management of the ministry and the committee here to see the possibility of raising the target of revenue from the ministry 
and other parastatals under the ministry. The main chart, as has been indicated, which I have seen in various pages you have presented, including that of print and other agencies, I said it, and I still stand my ground that a lot can be garnered into the consolidated revenue channels and platform of government in 2019. Uh, one of the practical ways which I have said under print then, even though I checked on page 63 of this main presentation of the ministry, where your internally generated revenue has been mapped, the major part where I was expecting you could garner a lot more money was the development of seedlings. About 500 million naira was uh, earmarked last year for that. And I felt even if we are giving those seedlings out, it is there are some nominal amounts that are paid to gather back a percentage of that 500 million naira into the coffers of government. There are ideas and instances like that which at the end of the day, if you put them together, I'm sure it will go a very long way in boosting the revenue capacity of government. Hence, even as you are saying, one of the challenges you have enumerated is if more fund can be given to the Federal Ministry for Environment. Certainly, there is this death and requests from almost across all the MDAs for more money. And the only way you can get more money is to scout for more monies through the revenue channels. Mr. Chairman, that is one of my two observations. And then, uh, your personnel projection for the year 2018 run, it, the projection of the budget has been there. What you have drawn down by the end of the year 2018, December, is there, and there is shortage of drawdown of 300 million, or slightly lower than that. I think that demands for explanation, and uh, should the explanation be is not to do with additional recruitment. In my own opinion, Mr. Chairman, we need to have to cut down that proposed budget indication from what it was lower with about 300 million. Because what has been allotted for the year 2018 has not been drawn down, and it is my guess is as good as yours that almost every staff of the ministry has been paid within the year. So that now explains a surplus of about 300 million on the personnel cost element. Uh, those are my two areas of uh, observations and suggestions, and uh, I'm sure he would want to respond at the end of the day. Thank you so much. The ministry, if you, if you just look well, you will find that it cannot be so. 300 million margin for drawdown, is def it can't be. It's definitely not so. But I would wish you, you please investigate. It cannot be. That margin is too... It's too much to be left to those that they have resigned or they have exited. You understand, it can't be. If that is the case, almost all MDAs will have that margin. Because it is not only in Ministry for Environment that people do die or exit. So why is the margin in other ministries so negligible? So something is definitely wrong somewhere. So you have to look at it.
So, one hundred people difference cannot bring about shortfall of three hundred million. I still put it to you that we will nice it. But I am not arguing that maybe you decide to lay off some staff in 2014, which now have been directed to be re absorbed. It could be. But a staff of 100, the permanent secretary, the honorable minister, and some of these captains, you know what I'm talking about. That cannot possibly. On that is that a lot of those debts would have fallen into the category of what should legally be tagged as liabilities. And the position of government on liabilities should be sorted. They should not become debt overhung on the ministry. If government has found that expenditure has done rightly or wrongly over the years, you will agree with me, government ought to pick up that as liability. And it should form a central pool. It cannot continue to become debt overhung on Ministry for Environment. And the processes of confirmation ascertaining the viability or otherwise of those liabilities should be followed after which the government can now possibly decide how to go about it. Otherwise, each ministry will be having debt overhang of two, three, four times more than their annual budget. And like uh, he observed, a debt of 11.6 billion, provision of 100 million in a year, even the grandchildren of those owing will never benefit from that money. I think something is wrong somewhere. So it should be done finally the right way. And part of the right way, in my own opinion, is suggesting to your ministry to take it up with the Federal Ministry of Finance so that if they are going to take it as liabilities to government, they should put it off hanging from your, the neck of the ministry and allow you with the meager resources being sought every year to deal with your own situation the way it is. That is my, my suggestion on that. Government are seeking over liabilities and set committees of finance to address the payment. DMO has approved of it. I think uh, this is coming in after we have we have submitted that this is document. The right yes, yes. Okay, Honourable okay. Minister. On the air pollution in Port Harcourt and environs. Yeah. Which you said even uh, now includes by SR now yes, ready sir. to Delta. Yes. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> there, there was a stakeholder a consultation involving federal government, river states, the armed forces, academia, and civil societies in April. 2018, and uh, they came up with some uh, small recommendations in the short term to establish a standing committee on air pollution episodes in Port and environments to oversee the quick stoppage of the air pollution problems via executive approach and task force implementation, and they called for genuine collaboration and partnership among key players at all levels to stop illegal bunkering, artisanal refining activities the consequent of burning and destruction of bunkering sites and artisanal refineries. That the armed forces and other security agencies to work closely together to stop illegal petroleum activities, including all sorts of open burning creeks and some other uh, decisions that were taken. So federal government is addressing that effectively and uh, you will soon see a change when the implementation starts. Okay,